What's good, y'all? We pulled back another video on Monster Episode 62. A last episode, Nina got her memories back. Let's see what we got this episode. Let's go. It's about to go down. Everyone's pulling up. How many eps left? The Red Rose 11 after this, I think. The devil Are you? now has an apprentice. The Where are they still doing them experiments? He survived the Red Rose Mansion. I know what his name is. His name is Peter Chapik. We gotta find this guy. <laughs> this clown. He's trying to control the devil, but that devil's a lot is more terrifying. Is that him? Terrifying. Hmm. Okay. Totally not sus. Yeah, like we're just the boys have no. Did. The boys have no peripheral vision, like. Oh, that's convenient. The <laughs> taxi just pulled up. Oh no, Damn. not 12. They're oh, they us. someone dropped the tip. Look at the jets! Oh my gosh! <laughs> 10 was fast. Oh, yeah, we are fucking fast. Bro, Ben is quick with it. Tyree kill. Make a left! How do we get out of this? He made a left! Oh wow, we're cooking these guys. Oy. Oh! Did we get smacked? We just Car got- coon? We just got Isekai! Nah, Carcoon. Yo. Damn, what the fuck? No, Tenma. Oh. That's bad. Got smoked by that car. Oh, wait. Are you in the hospital? Where am I? Who's this? Who the fuck? A new character? You finally come too. So then, how do you feel? Ah, uh, good, I guess. You only sprained your ankle. And from the looks of things, you didn't hit your head too hard. <laughs> but I'm not a real expert like you are. You know who I am? Of course we don't. Tenma, the brilliant neurosurgeon, saw you in the paper. Everybody oh, yeah. has. Me? I'm a dentist here in the area. Oh, on Kowash. I happened to be out for a walk when I saw you get hit by a car. And let me tell you, it was in <laughs> nice a big to meet hurry you. to get away. Where do you think you're going? Well, you know what would trouble me even more? If you were to limp onto the street and get yourself caught by the police around. Right. Why is he with us like this? Yeah, why is he... Oh, that's yeah. right. This is Frankfurt's Turkish district. Turkish district? Oh. Scratch that. Almost all of this area is being cleared for redevelopment. Okay. You see, for many years, it was mostly Turks who lived in so this So that's why he's with us? But now they've all moved out. A while back, these right-wing extremists tried to burn down the whole neighborhood. And who but saved them? Who lived here joined together and we fought them. It was us. So is the Cafe Bahir still around, or did it close? Damn. Hey, is that? You know Tough the area. Well, if you can get up and you would like to eat out there with the rest of us. That's some real shit. What a friendly guy. having Vietnamese food today. Vietnamese food? Off. And it's some chai ya tong. Being good. Min makes really exceptional Vietnamese food. Now don't be shy, eat. Nah, I'm hungry. Uh, you tell me. I love pork myself, but the Turks forbid it. Hmm. We don't really do much Czech cooking, do we? That's only because Milan is terrible at cooking. Sorry about that. Each of us takes turns cooking a cuisine of our own homeland. Oh, okay, I don't. It's wonderful. I don't know why they're helping us. Kind of good. Don't you think? You're Japanese, aren't you, we'll Doctor? Take Sandra? it, I guess. Tell us what Japanese food is like. It's fire. That sounds good. Maybe you could make us some. I'd like to try it. Well, I won't make katsudon because it has pork. It's raw fish, and some people have a problem with that. Oh, Yako done? It means parents and child bowl. It's chicken covered with eggs and sauce on rice. Well, the chicken is the parent and the egg is the child. We're yeah. having this conversation. <laughs> Bunch of random people we just met. Who knew Japanese cooking has such a sense of humor? <laughs> if only we could go back to Japan. I don't know if that's ever happening. Is something wrong, Doctor? Oh, is the food not to your liking? No, it's quite delicious. What a wonderful dinner this is. Tim, you gotta food, keep, problem. gotta keep a little bit of hum humanity left. He's too focused on the goal. Hopefully this. Uh, uh, not night time. Hopefully this woke him up a bit. Well, good night, doctor. See you tomorrow. He's jumping out this window. <laughs> so how long will it take until I can walk on this? Diagnosing table? himself. Self-diagnosing. Time to waste. Oh damn! You gonna pop a cap in his ass? It's Peter. Chapik. Wait, what? A gun? Huh? A report documenting Peter Chapik's movements. You knew something was odd. Oh. The police didn't converge here so they could catch you. The police were on that street because they were on the lookout for me. What? Peter Chapik is going to die by my hand. Oh. What the? What the hell's happening? <laughs> like, I knew it was going a little too good. I know, it was kind of something I could have foreseen. <laughs> like, I knew it was a suspect in some way, but not that though. Milan's really good at making paper airplanes. Yeah, they fly all hey, the way to that room over there. How'd this guy know that yeah, we're on his ass too, though? Lot. And he's always making promises. I don't know. Soon enough, children will fly much farther than those rooftops over there. We'll fly to Turkey, all of us. I mean, he's a good guy. I can, I can, he's... For sure, well, yeah, but yep. he on a mission just like us? Uh -huh. It's for the kids. It's for the youth. That wasn't so good. Why won't it fly? For the future. Uh, who knows? Peter Javik, uh, by my hand. I'm with that. But I believe it. Tell me, Milan, why would you want to do something like that? I'll tell you why. Because that man, Peter Chavik. Is the devil. I believe it. 
1989, under a cloak of darkness, on the night before communism collapsed completely in Czechoslovakia, he did something. Into this. He settled right here in Frankfurt. His two children Not the kids. He was a quiet man. Brainwasher. Who appeared to be thoughtful. But after a while, the children who had attended his classes, mm. one by one, the children who left his tutelage, began to commit suicide. No. And others. Finally, one day, there was a massive violent eruption. It was what the hell? The children were trying to kill him. I asked him why he had done it. He sat with his head down and mumbled. I want to go back to the book reading. Jeez. What the hell is going on at these book readings? While he was there that night, that poor boy found a way to kill himself. Holy shit. Is that why that one guy's that kids killed him, though? Remember son. that one guy I was saying last episode? Mm, his no. two children killed him himself? I don't know. By the Good shot. After a while, he finally resurfaced. We could see he was a different person. He was leading an underground organization in Frankfurt and had aligned himself with right wing extremists. Gender this guy's a real bad guy. He's worse than Johan. Even though I've studied him, I don't really know exactly what Chappik is trying to do here. But I know Control the devil. Six, he was the instigator of the riot. It was hell bent on burning down the oh, entire damn. Turkish district. And thus, I bet you remember hearing about that incident. We were there. I do. The townspeople formed a community defense squad as a way to fight the extremists. In just three months' time, the five leaders appointed to the community defense squad all met an untimely death. One by one, they all died. Bodies in dropping lives. left. And who were these five leaders that died? Tongue's father. Oh. Lin's husband. Damn. That's tough. Father. They didn't simply die. They were murdered. All this is pretty fucked up. By Peter Chappick. I don't know exactly why you're interested in Peter Chappick. The man is going to kill Chappick. Will be me. Go. All right, you Say got it. Say less, man. You, I go for you it. Got it. I encourage it. <laughs> I'm here for it. You'll be the murderer, even though it's a bad guy. You'll be the murderer, and we'll be innocent. Well. You know, you got that, man. Kill Johan while you're at it. Even if we try hard, it's still not gonna fly right. Murder one guy, murder two, you know? Just like there's no way that we're gonna get to go on a trip to Turkey and Vietnam. We like living here with Milan and everybody else. Isn't that right, Tom? Mm-hmm. Damn. Nah, son, I'd rather go to Vietnam or whatever. I bet it'll fly this time. I mean, I damn well don't want to be anywhere in this country at this moment. Oh, wow! Look! It's flying! That's amazing! It might not make it past those rooftops like Milan. And let's go to fly. Aren't you glad you didn't give up? Yeah! You mustn't ever give up. See, he's still a great guy. I think we just strengthened our conviction to get rid of Johan. Uh. Yes. What have you done with my gun? Oh. My gun isn't in the drawer anymore. Where is it? I've got a chance to kill Peter Chappick tonight. <laughs> I'm going right now. He's going right now. Gun, but I can't let you do that. Why? I can't let you use your gun to kill that man. I found this pistol I'm holding inside of your coat. What the fuck? I did the job with the gun that I trained with. The one I'm used to shooting. Come on, just show me where you put my gun. You've all created a wonderful family here. Now where did do anything to endanger. Stay out of trouble. I've been following Chappick and tracking his movements for a long time. My best chance to take him out is right now. But Timber, who are we to say? I'm asking you not to do this. We're doing the exact same thing. I already told you. Literally. Got to kill him. Even if you take your revenge, your son can't come back to us. That's true, but you like, aren't we finna do the you same thing? You have thing? to say that to me. Please, Mila. Your path and mine are almost exactly the they same. They are exactly. Right, Dr. Timber. <laughs> I looked you up and found out some things about you. And if what you said is true, then both of us are trying to complete the same exact We're literally mission. doing the same thing. Peter Chappick wasn't all. Someone has to kill him, like. I knew him way back. Before he became a devil. Oh. Peter Chappick and I were childhood friends. We both came from the same what? place. What? Oh. I was the one who invited him to come to this country. Oh, he he really got to deal with this then. This is his real personal problem. Work. You're not allowed to go there. I know we're not allowed, but do you know what's out there? I've heard there's this wonderful place beyond the border. There's a town over there that's lit up all okay, night. Harry is Potter really over true, here. Peter? Oh, Mr. Gregor told me. Yeah, but he's an alcoholic. <laughs> well, I've heard beyond the border there's something that ruins people and kills their spirits. So they make it just like airplanes. There's something that ruins people, really? <laughs> Why would you want to see that? Wow! It caught the wind. You're really good, Milan. It's flying so far. That's amazing. That plane might actually cross the border. Go we'll see what's on the other side for us, okay? Ruh -ruh. Quiet Quiet town. Hmm. What happened to him? I was the son of a laborer, and his father was a bureaucrat. But strangely enough, we were good friends. In 1989, the Czechoslovakian communist regime collapsed, and our small world changed forever. Best friend. Damn. But we really responsible. But I mean, you wouldn't have gone. old ass guy. Oh, flashy. I have to admit, I was worried about you during the Soviet invasion last year, Peter. Well, Many so people young. that I knew well were dragged off, but thankfully I myself am safe and sound. How about you? Talking like a bot. Me? I guess you might say I found my calling. I'm making a living with my hands now, as a dentist. So now instead of making paper airplanes, you're hey, going yo. teeth, huh? I'd rather be like you and have the kind of skills to get you ahead in this world. Maybe it's because of those skills you envy that I still enjoy my current status. To be perfectly honest, I was having a lot of fun during the Prague Spring. Remember how we talked about that when we were young? 
always wondering what the other side was like. Oh man. So did you get your answer? And what was it? There was nothing special. It wasn't good. Side or that side. Sure, this country is broken, but that doesn't mean that the other side is any better. Yep. Is that what made you into a goddamn in the world. menace? Well, recently, I found someone who actually wants to use my skills. Oh yeah. His way of thinking is so captivating that when you finally meet him, I bet you'll stop being oh, so no. concerned about following nah. him and rap. Once I finally came to the realization that there was nothing what's his name? about this country or that one, he what's was the his one name? who bring forth something entirely new. So what's this new thing he's going to bring forth, Peter? What does he create? Well, my A friend, day of reckoning. The results could be something rather frightening. What the fuck? Something inside him might have started to break down then. But he got brainwashed. Now give me back my gun. <laughs> wow. What a great place to hide it. Wow. <laughs> Thank, thanks. Don't do it, man. Nothing good can possibly come of this. It's no use talking. Nothing. I'm going to kill I mean, you. You're willing to lose everything you have right now. It's worth it. Family. You're forgetting he killed several members from that family. In a very real way, I am the one to be blamed here because I brought him to this Damn. country. Even my son. Oh my gosh. When they tried to burn this down guy has family, to do it, bro. He's he really providing a compelling case of why he has to do this. Death. There was a Japanese man who tended to the wounded with absolutely no regard for his personal safety. You're that man, aren't you, Doctor? We Kim? are. Well, I believe in you, Doctor, and I mean that. And Thanks. I know what you're trying to do. You and I are exactly the same. He's the bad version. You're the good one. I'm going. It's time. <laughs> if I let this chance go by, I he better not miss, another. though. Please, Milan. He better not die. Thank you. No, he's gonna die. You know, Timba. The tables were turned. I doubt that I could stop you. Probably. That's. He has a good point. I mean, like, we can't even argue against him because we're doing the exact same thing. Yeah, but like, we'll probably end up going the good route. He's going the bad route. We go say something to him. Is he gonna do it? Straight shooting. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Get it done. He missed. Oh, we got cooked. Dang. This is so tasty. This he is couldn't even get that job done. He sacrificed. He couldn't even get the job done. Someone took him out before he could shoot. I already know. This is so fun. Right and these Can people have to deal with him dying. No thanks. I'm almost done preparing your bowl. Milan's running late tonight. He's but I'm not sure coming back. Very soon. Well, yeah. The news. It's much better when it's hot. So I'll make Milan his bowl. Let's hope we don't have TV. Oh. Great. I spoke right there. At the Rottelheim Convention Center in Frankfurt today, a man with a handgun opened fire into a crowd of businessmen. Holy shit. However, a police station at the convention providing security shot and killed the gunman. Oh my gosh. Motherfucker! Everyone says it's delicious. Tough. Can't have shit. How's, well, I how's he gonna break the news to them? And now we turn to the footage of today's incident. Damn. Well, he got away. There he is. I know that man. It's connecting. Back at the Red Rose Mansion, he was there. Unknown. At least, at least his sacrifice opened up something. But I mean. Fuck, dude. That was like a. Uh... Alright boys, he tried to get the assassination off, it failed, just like, you know, Trump's, but it is what it is. Make sure to like and subscribe, we'll catch y'all in the next piece. <laughs> <That's> <laughs>